right now I am working on making a cake topper, which is going to be a little baby head popping from the bubbles in the bathtub. I will not go into detail on how I made this right now, but if you want to know more tips and details on how the baby cake topper head is made, you can check out my other video. To start, I'm going to take a little bit of modeling chocolate and then I'm going to mix in some fondant. And to get the skin color, I am going to mix a little bit of pink, copper, and some brown gel food color. And once I get the color I want, I'm just going to set this to the side. Okay, now I am going to make a ball out of Rice Krispie Treats and I'm going to shape it a little bit smaller than what I want the actual baby head to be because remember, we're covering this with the fondant chocolate mixture. So we don't want to make it too big. That's it. I did not want this to be perfectly round, so it's hard to see right now, but it's kind of like a little bit of an oval shape. And now it is time to cover it with my fondant chocolate modeling chocolate mixture. And because I use this mixture, I have a lot longer to work with this. It will not be cracking or drying and it stays pliable and workable a lot longer. So it, that's a huge plus. Oh, make sure you save a little bit of this fondant for the neck. We're gonna do that later. And for now, I put a little bit of royal icing and I'm going to stick my stick in the middle. With my big ball tool, I'm, gonna, I'm making some indentations where the eyes are going to be. And then I'm going to give him tiny little blue bead eyes. And with my sharp tool, I am cutting the shape of a mouth. I'm so sorry I didn't show you guys how I did this, but you can see how it turned out. I just made the, the line, a curved line. You see, I already added a little button nose, and then I added some fondant bead eyes. And now I'm, the baby needs some hair, so I'm gonna make a yellow curl at the top and I'm just going to work it into the, the head with my ball tool so that it combines one into the other, blends in. And now to add the ears, I'm, I'm scratching a little texture into the head so that when I attach the ears, they stay attached and they don't fall down because it has a little bit of modeling chocolate. It's not as easy as fondant that you can just wet it and it glues. And with the little ball tool, I'm pressing in the middle and I'm making the ears look like ears. Oh, he's already looking so cute. All right, now he needs a little blush. And for this, I use my chalk dust in a darker pink, and I'm gonna give him some rosy cheeks. Okay, now he needs eyelashes. With my hands, I just, in between my fingers, I rolled a very, very thin piece of brown fondant, and I'm going to attach it to the eyes. Sounds easier than it was. I'm so sorry, I'm covering it again with my finger, but now you get to see how, what it looks like. All right, so with a little bit of gel, brown gel food coloring, I painted the eyebrows and I painted the inside of the mouth. And now the other eye needs eyelashes. I think that was the hardest part of this whole thing. And now with a little bit of your leftover pink fondant, you're gonna give this baby a neck. And that's it, it's time to let this dry. I am going to put my baby head on this bathtub cake, 
but you can make a body for it or put it on something else and it is super cute. You can make it, add more hair to it. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you guys that I painted the hair with chalk dust, with yellow and brown. And that is it. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys give it a try. Please let me know if you guys want me to show you anything else that you would like to see me make. For now, this is it. Stay tuned for more videos and I will be back next week with some other cool cake stuff. Uh, in the meantime, make sure and check out because I will be posting a video on how I made this cake from the beginning all the way to the end and the whole process of what goes into making a cool sculpted cake. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.